Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra, and I'm broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico, which is my new home. Nobody's seeking sorrow or depression or pain consciously. It does happen, but you're not seeking it. You're not going to go on a vacation, spend $5,000, hoping you're gonna have a horrible time. If you go on a vacation, you're going there hoping you're gonna have a great time, naturally. So, so our attention normally is on our senses. And we're projecting that our Fortune and happiness is outside of here and outside of now. It happens constantly. It's kind of unconscious. It's a robotic reaction. We've been programmed, hypnotized to be in that way. So what happens is quite often we miss this moment because this moment is not good enough. And it gets replaced by an idea, a projection of a future moment that's gonna be happy. Or it's gonna be satisfactory, it's gonna satisfy you that you have accomplished the goal you wanted and that's gonna be in future. But of course you never get to it because as you get closer to the deadline, then the mind creates another project to delay you and to keep dragging you into the future moments, to deny you from what is right now. So we go through a lifetime of missing the magic because the magic is here. In this moment, that's where it is. Missing out on what is here right now in this moment. So it's shift of attention. Where does your attention go? This morning before I came here, I was invited by a new friend to breakfast. So I went to this place where we're having breakfast together. And uh, one table down from us, there was a man with three phones. And, and he had his phone on, uh, they were on, so you could hear this ding. Every time he got a message, it was like, ding, ding. And then at one point it got too much. It was like every 10 seconds, there was a ding. So I got up and walked up to his table and I said, excuse me, sir, because it became very annoying for me. But it didn't look like it was annoying anybody else because nobody else was saying anything, but my attention went to the ding. I keep hearing this ding. And then all of a sudden I can't enjoy the breakfast anymore because I'm just focused on this phone and the noise I hear. So finally I decided I walk up to him and I ask him to turn it off. It's, it's annoying, it's bothering, bothering me. And when I came back and sat down, two other people looked at me and they went like this. Like, thank you. So, so it's, it's, a very, it's very interesting because, okay, that's what happened. What happened was my attention went into the phone and, and the, the bell that it was, the sound was coming out of it and, and I'm focused on it. Now I can't take my focus off of it and it's bugging me. Now, may you may be sitting in a coffee shop 
and talking to a friend of yours and you're in a heated conversation and there are cars driving on the street and you're not paying any attention to the street's noise. The noise is in the background and you're not paying any attention to it. The noise is still there, but your attention is not on it. So you don't hear it. Your attention is on the person you're speaking to. But then if somebody kind of taps on your shoulder and says, isn't, isn't outside really loud? Don't you think it's annoying hearing all these cars and bells and horns and everything? And now maybe your attention goes in that direction and then it becomes annoying for you. Or before you weren't, your attention wasn't there. So what I'm saying is basically that's what I'm talking about is that where does your attention go to? Right now, for a lot of people around the world, the media is trying to grab your attention and direct your consciousness, your awareness on fear, worry, and anxiety. And if you give it a lot of importance and keep following the news, then you're going to be in fear, worry, and anxiety, naturally, because that's what they're pumping in the air. So you're going to be full of fear, worry, and anxiety. And if you bring your attention into, let's say, you like classical music, and you're listening to classical music every day, you're following different artists, different bands around the world, and you're just checking things out online, you see where they are, if they're gonna have an online concert, who's the leaders in classical music around the world, uh, what's new. So then your attention is there. That's what your, your main attention is. That becomes your reality. That becomes your world. You're not manifesting. You're not visualizing. It's just your attention shift. And it went to another thing. Then you meet a man or a woman and they captivate you and you're having this romantic relationship with them. And you're we call it fall in love. And all you're thinking about is him or her. What is he doing now? Where is he? Is he thinking about me? When is he going to contact me? Did I get a text message from him? Oh, I'm going to see him tonight. Oh, I'm going to get dressed for him and get myself ready. So now you're really excited and your attention is on this person, he, she, or whatever. Similarly, what I'm saying is if you shift your attention inward towards the source of your thoughts, not having your attention on your thoughts, the content, what am I thinking about? I shouldn't be thinking about these things. I should be thinking about this. I shouldn't be saying these words. I should be saying those words. I need to say positive stuff. I need to think positively. So then your mind becomes your attention and you are constantly in engagement with your thoughts. And that becomes a reality. Your moment to moment daily reality. And as a result, you will suffer because you're going to be having the disease, suffering from the disease that most human beings on this planet are suffering from, a busy mind, 